All right, this is our video walkthrough of our frog dissection. The first thing is that you're going to get your frog and take a look in its mouth. How you're going to get the mouth open is that you're going to actually have to pry it open a little bit there. It'll be hard at first, but you'll be able to get it in order to see the tongue. So there's the tongue. You can pull out the tongue to see kind of how it attaches to it, like so. And that's a little bit weird and different from our tongue, obviously, since they use it to catch their prey. And then you'll be able to see a little bit of his two vomerin teeth, his little buck teeth right there at the top. If you feel them, they're really hard, razor-like. Um, and then along the sides here, you'll see that he's got a nice little tooth ridge where there's just hard, little, tiny, feels like, an, like a serration uh, or like a serrated knife going across there. So that is the external stuff that you'll be able to see. Obviously, you've got the eyes and the tympanic membrane there going on, but that is everything from the outside perspective that you'll be able to see. All right, the next part that we'll end up needing to do is actually tie down our frog here. We're not gonna use pins because you're not going to be able to pin really through the bone. So we're gonna tie it back. How we'll do that is that you'll wrap a piece of yarn or string around one part of his leg, take it below the tray and wrap it around on the other side. I'll give you plenty of string so you shouldn't have to worry about it, but you'll want to make sure to make it tight. Otherwise, um, it could move around on you as you are cutting it. We'll make sure that it is tight and centered, and then you can always just cut off the stuff that you won't use. Um, you'll do the same thing with the arms. Now, this frog's arms are pretty far apart there, so we wouldn't have to do too much with it. So we're just gonna tie off around one of the wrists there, bring it all the way around from the back, tie it down on the other side. You may have to push back and down on them to get them a little bit out of the way because sometimes the frog's hands will be like right there. You want them out of the way. So you might have to move them and bend them back to get into position. And then you'll tie it off. Boop. And just like before, cut off the extra, save it for later. Now you'll have your frog in a pretty well maintained position. You may want to double knot it as the liquid will like to loosen them up a little bit. But they should at least be tied down out of the way there. That's a little bit loose. You might want it a little bit tighter, uh, but at least that'll work for our first part. Our next section is that we're going to make our first cuts. Our first cut will be down here, right by the pelvic region, uh, which is the pelvis. You'll want to take your tweezers, pinch the skin right in between the legs here, lift up a little bit and make a nice little cut, just like we did with the worm, through the frog. And what you'll do, you'll cut upwards up through the skin, which this is the epidermis, the upper layer of the skin, all the way up to above where it kind of meets the jawline there. And then you'll cut towards the arms. You'll go down here, cut towards the side there. There will be liquid, that is just the water that was absorbed from me washing them. And the water that they would have absorbed when they were once living. And we're just gonna cut. Try to get in there and cut all the way down. Now what you'll want to do is peel the skin layer back. And that'll just involve you doing a little bit of tearing. Now you'll have the skin flap around the arm if you want. Just make a cut right below it. Each one of the arms 
in order to kind of get it to move backwards there. And then this part can just kind of move up. And there you've got the muscle layer exposed to the thing there. If your skin gets in the way, you can always pin the skin down, but for the most part, it shouldn't come flapping back up. We'll need the pins though for the muscle since they're gonna want to snap back into their normal positioning there. All right, our next cut we'll be making is through the actual muscle layer, and you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did before. Start down below, cut through the muscle, get underneath the muscle, and you're gonna to want to cut up. Now there's gonna be more water that comes rushing out because they're going to absorb it in their body cavity. When you get to about right here in between the two arms, that's where the sternum and rib cage is at. Your scissors are sharp enough just to go right through it though. It'll just be a little bit tougher. You're gonna make your cuts to the side just like before. Cut, cut. You'll make your cuts down here as well. Cut, cut. Do it on the other side. Cut, cut. So now you have your bottom portions down there and you can see some of the exposed organs already. Looks like I lacerated the liver just a little bit and went a little bit too deep with my cut there. That's all right. It'll happen. You're not pros and experts. Now you'll need to push back the flaps that you've just made in the muscle wall there. You'll have a bunch of membranes sticking together. It's okay just to clear those out of the way and kind of detach them like this part right here. It's a nice clear membrane, detach that. And then you'll want to take a pin, take a pin, stake it through the top portion of the bone up there. It'll fit through the rib cage. Just find a part where it's in between the ribs. And then you'll want to do that on the other side as well. Push through, you might need two pins in there. Um, in order to do that, then we'll do the same thing, two pins at the bottom, 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 and now we have our frog opened and ready to look at all of the wonderful organs that are inside. What you can do, you can take a paper towel, dab away some of the extra water that is around, so that you don't have to worry about it as you are searching for all of the different organs inside of the frog. All right, let's run through the organs that you'll be able to see a part of our frog here. We'll have the, the first thing that you'll end up seeing right here, you got one, two, three. These are actually the livers, which usually get confused with the lungs because they kind of look like what our lungs would look like. But these are actually the livers, um, which since they're in water a lot and they have to kind of filter that through, um, they'll be having a lot of stuff dealing with that. Right below the livers, you'll end up seeing this green little sac there. That is the gallbladder filled with bile. You'll have underneath of that this tougher kind of half or a crescent moon shaped organ. That is its stomach. Attached to the stomach, this nice little curly cue guy right here, this is the small intestines. You will end up removing both the stomach and small intestines to see how long the small intestine is and to uh, see if there's actually any food left in the frog's stomach when it became deceased. Um, the bigger part right at the bottom here, this will be the large intestine. Um, the stuff over here, sometimes they're yellow. These ones are a little bit more pinkish or reddish. These are the fat bodies. You may need to remove them. They're pretty simple to remove. Just go over to where they're connected at and kind of give it a nice little pull. And you'll be able to remove the fat bodies. Some of your frogs may have more fat bodies than others, so uh, it might be helpful to actually remove them. Sometimes they don't get in the way though. Um, the other, Thing that we'll be able to see right back here. This is actually one of the lungs. On the other side, let's get my hand out of the way. Way back there, you can see the other lung. Let's see if we can get a nice view in there. It's kind of dark in there, um, but there's a nice little red guy back there. That is the other lung. Speaking of red guys, you'll have this little red ball right here. That is the uh, spleen that we'll have there. And 
And this is a female, you can tell, because it's got a couple of egg sacs in there. These little black things right here that are speckly, those are egg sacs. Um, these aren't as well developed, um, but that's what you'll end up finding for the egg sacs there. These are the uh, part of the female reproductive system. These are not small intestines, these little curly Q guys. That's part of the female reproductive system. You'll have the, oh, there went my pin. Let's put that pin back in. Up here, you'll have the heart. It is surrounded by the nice membrane protector there of it. Um, you can remove some of that stuff around there. You may be able to get through it with your tweezers. You might have to give it a nice little snip in order to reveal it. But there we go, there is the heart. It's got three chambers, two at the top here, one, two, and then the ventricle at the bottom. You got the other atria up there. Um, right above that, if you cut high enough, that would be your esophagus, kind of right there connecting to your throat. Um, and that is the rundown of the organs.